All right. Hey, what's up guys? Um, today we are going to be making um, a delicious like mystery noodle style one. I love these kind of recipes um, and this one's going to be relatively easy. There was just a tiny bit of chopping to do um, at the beginning. So I just chopped up half of a onion. I, I used a yellow onion for cooking um, and I used one and a quarter of bell peppers, just depending on the size of them. But yeah, you just want to put as much as you'd put in one big hearty meal um, and about a thumb's worth of ginger. You can use dry ginger for this and I'll um, put the amount in the description below. Um, and I'm also using fresh garlic. Um, I used about three cloves, again, depending on the size. Um, yeah, so let's get started and hopefully the power washing that they're doing to the building outside isn't going to be too annoying in the background for sound. So here we go. All right. So first things first, I put about a um, teaspoon of coconut oil. It's just the only oil I had anyways. Um, and then we're going to put our onion. Our red pepper. Turn that up a little bit and we're going to add in our garlic right now. Leave the ginger for kind of last. I like mine to taste a little bit more fresh, so I just like to leave that. Um, and that's personal preference. You can add that in right now if you like. So we're going to let this simmer for about two minutes. Um, and now while we're waiting for that to simmer, we can start mixing together um, our sauce. So um, you can start with a fourth of a cup of tamari or um, light soy sauce. I have that here. A teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, that should be good half a tablespoon of whatever sugar you have on hand. Don't be picky about it. I have these brown sugar cubes. We're gonna do one tablespoon of the sesame oil. So the same stuff that we used last time. So there's gonna be a couple of repeat um, ingredients. Stir this around a bit. So that's getting to um, a softer point. So I turned it all the way down and I'm just gonna add in our ginger. So if you're using fresh ginger, use that, add that to your um, pan now. All right, continuing on with the sauce. Um, we are going to put in a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, another repeat. Um, of our last recipe, we can use that ingredient. We need a teaspoon of sriracha. I feel like everybody has just sriracha kicking in their fridge. So just some of that good stuff. Just mix this up a little bit and then we're gonna add it to the second pan. Turn the heat on on that pan. Turn it down on low. All right, so now that our sauce is nice and heated up, we're gonna make it a little bit thicker um, by adding a teaspoon of cornstarch to two teaspoons of water. Um, again, just do a quick little whisk on that there. And then you can just add it to your pan of sauce and turn the heat back up. Now, while that's happening, we're gonna get our noodles. So I'm just gonna use these rice noodles. Um, you can use any kind of noodles you like. All right. And I'm just getting out some of my um, pre-cut frozen green onions, and I'm just gonna add them to uh, the pan so that they can defrost a bit. Um, 
we want to add them for garnish. So again, like I said before in our last video, um, if you have these fresh, then add them right on top um, in raw. That would be perfect. Um, but I have them like this. So sauce is thickening up. So we're just going to add it to um, the pan with our vegetables. And then we're just gonna take our rice noodles and add them right to the pan. Turn off the heat on all your burners. All right, so the uh, last thing you have to do is uh, get some crushed red peppers and garnish them. Garnish your dish with it if you like. And normally you'd have like a lime, uh, but apparently that's the only thing I forgot to grab at the store. Um, but limes and lemons are similar, so I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of uh, get some of the get the seeds out so they don't get on there. Um, I'm gonna just put a little bit of lemon on there. Honestly, I think it'll taste great. Um, so lime or lemon. Lime is a suggestion. Try lemon if you like. That's it. That's on a really quick lunch um, dish that you can make. Um, and again, of course, I'll put all of the ingredients in the description, um, but you'll have half of them already if you did my last recipe with me. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope that you like this. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified for the next time my videos come out. Peace.